Hi everybody, how's it going? And now chat, you know what we're gonna do? A little of that speed running the kids all like. You'll be watching the YouTube video, but do your best. Yo, you're watching the Elden Ring YouTube video? That makes me really, really, really happy. It's a good video. It's a good video. Yeah, I wanna get a little bit better time so I can submit for GDQ. Ah! Oh my goodness! My goodness! I play. I, be, I was played better at um speedrun sessions than I am right now. All right, we'll try it. Even though this sucks. All right, well, never mind. We got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> First GDQ you watched, it, it was me and Mitch Flower Power. No! Oh! No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> First time you've seen this hack and it's crazy? Yeah, this hack's sick. The gimmick of this hack is obviously it's like Celeste. Um, and if this is the th this is the first time you've ever seen it, I highly suggest you go back and watch, damn it, watch a YouTube video. I was supposed to grab that. Um, watch a YouTube video of the someone's original playthrough. You can find mine <coughs> on YouTube. Would I consider myself a jank player or a god gamer? Uh, depends on the time of day. Uh, I think every god gamer is a jank player as well. Um, I, I, I think, what do I want to say? Listen, don't tell anyone this, but speedrunning is the easiest of the competitive gaming. Don't tell anyone I said that. How much do I game off stream? Uh, it depends what's out. Uh, lately? Not much. Um, it depends what's out and like... Okay, so, like, I'm not gonna play a new ROM hack off stream because chat would be like, Why didn't you stream it? Yeah, whoever came up with this skip's an asshole. fucked up but that's okay we'll just take it and that was not good i feel like this is more consistent what did i go to college for journalism i wanted to be a sports broadcaster um what did i do right before right before full-time streaming i right before full-time streaming i was a announcer mostly for casinos and small events that happened in and around the Tahoe area. A lot of, a lot of um, what I did was Tell people, you know, like giveaways and stuff for the casinos, do announcements like that. Someone won a bunch of money. Um, there was a lot of different things.
Uh, live band karaoke. That was probably my favorite thing. I used to tell people what a DJ's name was often. I don't know. Before that, I was trying... I was a snowboard coach and trampoline coach and trying to snowboard as much as I could to get as good as I could to maybe get the opportunity to do cool things. I quit that job, so I got, I was, I was pretty much like laid off from all announcing gigs. There was nothing, like the way it worked, um, just I had no jobs from basically wow. Halloween till New Year's. And during that time, I, I started streaming a, a little bit more hours. I wouldn't say like significantly more hours at the time. And I always thought, you know, I would just go back when it happened. Um, and I was doing, you know, we were doing okay. I was making like, you know... Like, maybe like 1500 bucks on stream a month, you know, through from donations and subs and everything. And, uh, and maybe like, well, a little bit more than that from announcing gigs. And then when it, when streams, you know, when it got up to like two or 3000 a month, that's when I was like, well, you know, I can do this for me and make about the same amount of money. I could do both of these things and make more money. Wow. Or I could just, you know, do the smart thing and keep a job, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I don't know. So I quit. Uh, when they asked me to come back, I quit. Yeah, I just basically was like, no, I'm making same money doing my stream and um thank you though and then uh what's really funny is snowbike mike he uh snowbike mike who streams on twitch now he took over all my announcing gig basically uh and now and then he quit the stream on twitch so it's really funny how that works out much like a strip club, my stream has a two drink. My stream does not have a two drink minimum. Need that blue bear recipe? Blue Red Bull gin uh, lime. Pretty much it. It's extremely simple. Yeah, they're good. They have no business being as good as they are. You And you don't like gin? Well, you could do vodka in an A, but, like, it doesn't taste like gin when it's in there. Yeah. I like Hendrix myself, but, you know, whatever you like. I My friend's mom used to drink peppermint schnapps. She used to drink hot damn peppermint schnapps like it was going out of style. And it wasn't until older until I realized what kind of badass she was. She'd have a can of Sprite and a, like a double shot glass of peppermint schnapps with her all the time. She sounds lovely. She actually was lovely. Why did you do that? Um, it's possible I haven't got good fish. I, dude, I don't like the smell of it. I don't like it. I mean, I love, in this, uh, in college, I loved fishing. And I would force myself to eat trout every once in a while because if I had a fish that I couldn't throw back for whatever reason, swallowed the hook, something bad happened to it, you know what I mean? Um, we would take it home and I would force myself to eat it. 
it's part of the reason that I don't fish much anymore. Because I don't like eating fish, and I don't want to... I feel guilty if something happens and I don't eat it, you know what I mean? And I just don't like fish. I try to, I try to, yeah, I, I mean, I try to, I, like, I also have this rule that if I haven't eaten a food in the last six months, and someone says you should try this, I'm gonna try it. Because there's tons of foods I didn't like as a kid that I love as an adult now, and foods that I liked as a kid that I hate as an adult now. And I recognize that, so I realize that all the time, there's stuff I might not like. Right now, but I might like it later, or I might like it if it's prepared the right way, you know? There's two exceptions to that rule, though, um, that I have. And that's cream corn and sweet potatoes, which I hate. Millennial, millennial toys, I would invest in, if you can find like a Batman Returns Batmobile, Millennial toys, man, I feel like they're only going to go up in price. Because if there's one thing Millennials harken back to, it's their own nostalgia. As Millennials get cash, Prang's an undefeated villain. Krang is kind of badass when you think about it. Naves. Well, like, the Mario McDonald's toys, I think, are worth a, a little bit of cash. Old, old, old Star Wars toys? Yeah. In box? You can do some things. Uh, Beanie Babies have made a comeback, Fox Die. Yeah, Beanie Babies have actually made a huge comeback. I mean, you guys got to remember, there was a time where Pokemon cards were not valuable for a long time. It wasn't too long ago where you could get a fucking Charizard for... You know, 300 bucks. You wish you saved all... Dude, I talk about it all the time. In my Magic the Gathering cards. Star Wars cards aren't worth nothing? Wait, you're telling me Young Jedi is not worth a lot of money? <laughs> yeah, Magic the Gathering, though. Magic the Gathering has probably gained more value than, like, any other asset of the last 30 years. <laughs> like, owning a Black Lotus is significantly better than owning gold. Go tend to baby poo. He's, he's, there's nothing I can do. All I would do is say, listen, listen, kid. Quiet time. So we do quiet time. Instead of nap time, we do quiet time. And he gets to play on his iPad or chill or read books or whatever he wants to do. But we got to be in our room and, for an hour. And we just got to be calm. That's, that's the goal. You know what I mean? And... Sometimes he hates it, and sometimes we bend the rules, and we'll let him go on the couch, and that makes it harder on us later on when, you know. He's three. He still, the thing is, he still needs a nap. Like, he's, he's, he needs a nap. Does that make sense? Like, the kid needs a nap, but he's just not going to take one. So, that's, that's the, I need a nap too, right? So that's our compromise. You can't believe he's three already? Bruh. Same. I can't believe how different my life is since he's been born, honestly. I still remember, I still remember when it happened. Because it was the first day of GDQ. And I remember I watched that GDQ. I watched a lot of that GDQ, but I was also extremely, extremely tired while doing it. Extremely. The only thing I remember about that GDQ is I was holding my son. And um, Mitch was in a race. 
and I put in chat, Mitch was winning, and I put in chat, this is about the time you, your uh, foot gets heavy, and chat just lit up. Is there anything nice to do in Lake Tahoe that doesn't involve snowboarding? In the snow? Yeah. In the, in the spring and summer and fall? Yeah. Lake Tahoe is amazing. Don't come visit, though. Too many, too many visitors already. We don't need any more. Uh, yeah, Lake Tahoe has literally every outdoor activity you could ever want. Um, and some of the best of it. Fishing. If you like high, high mountain fishing, it's insane. It has tons of rivers and creeks and high altitude lakes. Amazing trout fishing all over. If you like hiking, there's literally the most amazing hiking trails in the country. If you like taking pictures of pretty spots, Instagramable spots, tons of them. Um, you want to rock climb? Guess what we got? Fucking rocks. Climb. Lots of them. Some of the greatest mountain climbers in the world live in Lake Tahoe. Um, I just remembered I'm doing any percent, so I didn't need that turtle shell that I lost. Like to gamble? I was gonna say, you like to gamble? You can go to the casinos. Um, they're all rinky-dink and a lot cheaper than Vegas. They're great. Uh, that's really only South Shore, though. North Shore doesn't really have any, like, nightlife. And they have a little, but not, like, South Shore. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Lake Tahoe's, Lake Tahoe's pretty special. Don't visit. I don't get to enjoy it anymore. <laughs> I, I don't, and I don't think this is like, I don't think this is limited to Tahoe, right? I just think that there's some spots on Earth, right, that are just incredible and amazing. And as we get more and more, as the internet exposes us to more and more of those spots, they're going to get more and more crowded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like Lake Tahoe doesn't get bigger, you know? It stays the same size. Same amount of hotel rooms. There's no extra land coming. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. That's a two frame move right there, chat. You found out. Um, I would say it depends on what your family likes to do. People will even play some Mario Maker this week, chat. I'm sorry, this is a this is a bad uh, D Rust day. I need to stop apologizing when I don't feel like my gameplay is hitting. I need to be more like, you guys shut the fuck up. You should be grateful I even laced up my. I even plugged in my controller today. Yeah, that was horrible. Horrible, horrible run, chat. Horrible run, chat. Not good.